All right, stand by. Quiet up there! All you assholes that work at this store, shut up! Ha! I don't have to shut up. What's going on in this YouTube channel? Oh, I'm sure the guys over at uh, Tactical Crusader would appreciate all the profanity before we're about to demo their product. So. Oh, excellent. <laughs> hey, Carter's back for this, actually. You guys remember Carter? Um, he's just in for today, and he's just hanging out with me, so I may refer to him. He's just off camera. What we're talking about today is the Tactical Crusader Pro A1 Airsoft Pro Paint Adapter. Now, you guys are saying to me, why do I give a crap about a propane adapter? Well, for one, uh, they seem to be harder and harder to get these days. And two, a couple of them on the market don't work correctly. And uh, we'll go over that. Uh, but the reason why we're talking about this product, it is brand new. They just debuted it. This is the first run of it that's actually available to the consumer. So we have it here. We have it in stock, 321 Airsoft. And at the end, I'll just direct you to the link. Oh, just go into the comment or description section below. You'll be able to see a link to our website where you can purchase this. Um, Let's talk about this and how it's made. Uh, first, it comes in this great packaging. Uh, a lot of other propane adapters are OEM. Now, Airsoft Innovations out of Canada, they do a really nice product, nice packaging, but we'll talk about the difference between their product and what they've got here. Um, it retails for $19.99. We're running a web special for $17.99. Um, we'll ship one to you if you'd like it. We'll tell you why it's better to use a propane adapter and why we can't ship uh, green gas. Um, Great packaging, great product, and it's made in the USA, something that you don't hear much of. Now, granted, Airsoft Innovations product is made in Canada. Um, it is not a product from the Chinese market, so we're seeing a lot of uh, new innovation over here in the Western world. So let's go over this. Let's talk about it. Packaged with instruction manual. Um, there isn't much you really need to know about a propane adapter. It does tell you how to do it, and, um, but if you're, you're familiar with the product and using green gas, you know how to do this already. So uh, um, it does have an instruction manual. It does come with it. That is nice that it's packaged in there. Uh, it's aluminum. Anodized red aluminum. It looks like it's got a brass nozzle, and uh, this is metal material, everything here. Um, uh, it, it looks like it's really nicely machined. Clean edges, everything. Uh, they put a lot of work into designing this. Now, it's a simple product, but it's nice to have one uh, that you know, works effectively. I mean, there's a lot of other people milling them out of aluminum, and then uh, the brass valve at the bottom, or the, the, what is that thing called that presses the valve on a propane tank? But uh, this part right here is too short on some camp propane tanks. This one extends below this, so it's obviously long enough that when it presses, it will actually open up the propane tank and vent gas in there. The first thing that we notice about this product, and it's something that we have a problem with with a lot of uh, airsoft guns that say have the, um, the bumper on the mag. Actually, let me get a mag. What happened to my pistol? I was dicking with it, and now it's gone. What's up, what? Can you grab it, Carter? Thanks. Anyway, um, the nice thing about this product is, is that they've extended this nozzle long enough that it's not a problem when using this on, you know, like the, the 1911s with the, the bumpers on the bottom. Um, my Glock mag is a bad example of this because it doesn't have that, but you know what I'm talking about. What are those things called, like the, the, the bumpers on the... Bumper. It's just a bumper, yeah. Um, the bumpers, it's not long enough to get up in there. Uh, we can show you the difference between this. I have an Airsoft Innovations version over here. Of course, I just dropped it on the floor. Thanks, Carter. Um, the Airsoft Innovations version, if you look at the two of these, if I match them up, there's about, I would say, almost a quarter of an inch difference uh, between the two of them. And if we go ahead and use an actual tool on zero, okay. You just um, it in the wrong place. Oh, sorry, where is it zeroed here? Okay. All the way closed. Close. Zero. I'm an idiot. Anyway, uh, we're looking at 6.7, 6. 6.9. So, so about 6.8 inches for the length of the nozzle on the Airsoft Innovations one. But if you look at the new Tactical, Tactical Crusader, man, that's hard to say. That's a lot to chew on. Hey, the hey. Tactical Crusader propane oh, adapter. You're looking at, what did I say, 6.9? Uh-huh. Oh, it's 0.69, so it's, you know, 0.69 inches. It's a little more than a half an inch. And if you look at the Tactical Crusaders propane adapter, you're looking at 
0.85 inches. So almost almost a quarter of an inch, would you say? That's a yep. good estimate. A good a quarter inch difference in the length of this nozzle, which is great for you guys that are using the magazines that have the bumpers on there. Um, and I can't say take the bumper off because a lot of the bumpers actually retain the spring and the, uh, the, the guide. So um, uh, that's nice. They've thought about that. So good job on that, guys. Um, threading onto a propane tank, it's clean. Goes right on. Um, yeah, that was it. And if you're going to use this propane adapter, I recommend that you get a hold of some pure silicone oil. Drop the pure silicone oil right into the reservoir here. You can get it. it. Comes in little bottles like this. Gas blowback oil. It's maybe about six, seven bucks for a bottle of this. It'll last you a long time. Drop a few drops into the top of your can, and then screw this on. And it's kind of hard for me to do it when the the the, the camera's so close to this. Is it's uh, you you go ahead and you line this up, and then when you gas it up have it pointing straight down so you get a little bit of liquid propane into the uh, magazine. Let it warm up and then the magazine will get its best um, fill. So it's as simple as that. It's a great product. Um, uh, hopefully the Tactical Crusader guys will keep us well stocked on these. Uh, um, it, it, it makes more sense to have one of these, especially if you live away from an airsoft store. And let me tell you why. Uh, green gas, these guys right here, uh, Green gas is flammable, and technically by law, for, in order for me to actually ship this to you, you have to pay the $24 hazmat fee. And it only starts to make sense to order this stuff, you know, a dozen at a time in order to absorb the cost. We run them for $9.99 in a can in the store. We don't ship it because we have to put it in special packaging. It takes special care. Despite what other people say, this is a, a, an approved shipped canister, but it still requires the $24 uh, uh, hazmat fee. So it makes no sense for me to ship this to you because you're going to pay, if you bought one can, you're looking at about $35, you're looking at about $50 after shipping just to get one can of these. It doesn't make any sense. But for a couple bucks, uh, USPS Postal Service, we could throw this in a padded envelope and you can have this for less than 25 bucks shipped to your door. So it makes sense. Um, hopefully you get a lot of use out of this video. Uh, this is a great new product from uh, Tactical Crusader. Uh, we look forward to working with these guys in the future, especially if they start coming up with some new product that's innovative. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Check the links below. If you want one of these, we have them on our website at 321airsoft.com. And then uh, other than that, is there anything I missed, Carter? Nope. No. Okay, well, that, I mean, uh, pretty straightforward, guys. Uh, new propane adapter, one made in the USA. We have lots of them in stock. Uh, thanks for watching. Watch the woods, watch the woods. <laughs> I wondered how he hit you, you. Yeah, he came around and caught that. Medic! <laughs> I don't bang bang, sorry. <laughs> oh. I don't like parlay either. At least I aimed well. Hey, it's still off. Where's your now, guys? Medic!